he has been on Comedy Central. He is also a regular at The Liar Show, which is one of my very, very favorite storytelling shows. And I'm so thrilled to have him here for the very first time. Please give a warm welcome to Joey Novick. So I am um, currently, I'm originally from New York, but I currently live in New Jersey. Yeah. Thank you. I moved out there about oh, 15 years ago, and I was a, a very typical New Yorker. I uh, bought a house in the suburbs in uh, Flemington, New Jersey, which is uh, the most right-wing Republican conservative area in New Jersey, and being a left-wing Democratic Jew, that didn't quite mesh that well. So I had a little problem with my neighbor, who was a real asshole, and I was told to go to the borough council to let them know about the problem, and they would fix it for me. So I arrive on that night, and there's a man sitting up there chairing this borough council meeting, and I'll describe him to you. He had on like a really bad toupee, suspenders, checkered shirt. He had a one of those pocket pen protectors. And my girlfriend Rosie said to me, look, stay to the end of the meeting, tell your problem, stay there, and thank the man for helping you. So I said, okay. So I'm sitting through the most boring fucking meeting in the world of like local politics. They're talking about sewage, they're talking about drainage, they're talking about re-edging roads, and I just want to like stick a pen in my eye and kill myself, get to my brain. Somewhere along the line, we got to public comments. So I stand up and I explain my problem with my neighbor and my property line, and the guy just says to me, well, you'll have to take it up with our public official, our advocate, or whatever. So I stay to the end of the meeting, and there's more talking about sewage and stuff. So at the end of the meeting, I walked up to the guy and I said, I just want to thank you for listening. And I put up my hand, and he stands arm akimbo like the pirate from the TV commercials. And he says, so uh, where are you from? I don't recognize you. Uh, I've never seen you here before. And I say, well, I'm from New York. I just moved. He goes, oh, you just moved here from New York. You certainly have a lot of problems for coming all the way out from New York and just moving here. And he kind of gives me this thing with his hand. And I am like really pissed off, but I go home and I'm yelling at Rosie and say, who is that motherfucker, cocksucker, asshole, mother? Just calm down. So about six months later, a guy comes to my door running for office. He's a Democrat. And we actually get into a conversation and he persuades me to run for office, okay? And I'm thinking, man, this is great. He goes, come and see, you know, he says, look, come and watch the meeting. Maybe you'll run, maybe you won't, but I promise you a burger and a beer. So I go to the meeting and this same guy is still up there and they're still talking about like sewer sludge and drainage and I'm thinking, can't they solve these problems in six months? And I'm sitting there and I'm bored out of my mind and I'm looking forward to the burger and a beer and then I asked the question that would change my mind for like would affect my life forever. I said, "Well, who is the guy that I'd be running against?" And he points to that guy. Yeah. And I'm thinking, "Oh, I am so in." <laughs> and I'm thinking I can seek revenge, I can win. And I go home and I realize that I have to tell Rosie that I've decided to run for office. And she looks at me and says, are you out of your fucking mind? You don't have time to do the dishes, mow the lawn, but you want to run for office? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so I start out knocking on doors. And I'm, I'm like, I buy a suit, I buy a tie, I get a little piece of uh, campaign material. I knock on my first door, and I will tell you, Flemington is the most Republican town in all of Hunter Reed County. So I knock on my first door, and I'm very happy about this. I'm very excited. My dad is very excited about my running. And uh, I knock on my first door, and the guy opens up the door, and he says, uh, all right, what do you want? So I said, hi, I'm running for office. My name is Joey Novick. And I just want to, he yells at me, he says, Democrat or Republican? And I say, I'm a demo. On the word mo, he slams the door in my face. <laughs> I go and I sit in my car for about 15 minutes crying. Oh. And the thing in my mind is that I just don't want to go home and tell Rosie and get to that I told you so that women are so good at giving you. So I you know, say, look, I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Jew. I can handle this. <laughs> I go back to his door and I knock on it again and he looks at me incredulously and, he's, you know, and I say, look, don't ever slam the door in anybody's face again. Tell me you don't want to vote for me, you don't agree with my politics, but do not slam the door in anybody's face. And I turn around and I just walk. 
and I did not look back because he was like real large, and I thought he was like, you know. So everything was going well until the first Republican mailer came out. There was a piece of really bad black and white picture of me, and underneath it said, it says, just say no-y to Joey. <laughs> we don't want his stand-up act on council. And it talks about how I'm a failed comedian and I'm just running for the attention, which is kind of true. No. <laughs> but the thing is, so I actually am so pissed off, I call my dad, my dad's asking me how's the campaign going, and I, I tell him about this, and then he says, he says, oh, just say no-y to Joey. He goes, well, they must have seen your act. <laughs> just like that. So he says, well, you really should do something about that. You're a comedian. Be creative. So I go online, and I find a great quote from Will Rogers, which says, I'm a comedian. When I tell a joke, it gets a laugh. He's a politician. When he tells a joke, it becomes a law. <laughs> <laughs> so I send that out to everybody, and the newspaper, which doesn't think I'm going to win, actually writes an editorial that says, but by the way, the guy's name was Bill Reed, who's, and I made a joke and I met him for the first time. I said, oh, Bill Reed, that's what you do. You guys read bills. <laughs> he didn't think it was funny either. But anyway, so, so they print an editorial that says, Mr. Reed, you owe Joey Novick an apology. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm thinking, yeah, fucking hey, this is great, man. And I don't think I'm going to win, but it puts like wind in my sails, and I'm going door to door to door. Eventually, the election is over, and on election night, I get a surprise. I kick the guy's ass. Yeah. I actually win, and I'm the first Democrat to be elected to Flemington Borough Council, which I've now served on for 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm still the only Democrat on the council. And when I called my dad, I'll never forget this, I called my dad, I was very excited to tell him that I won. And he said to me, he said, oh, that's great. And as a good Jewish father, he said to me, how much does it pay? <laughs> and I said, it's about 4,200 a year. Then even as a better Jewish father, he said, oh, is that off the books? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>